Good evening, uh, Minister. It's good to be here. Uh, uh, this is, I've been doing harasses for like 15 years. And the last two days of discussion at harasses here, and thanks to Hellenic Chamber of Commerce that they brought this together with Dr. Frank Richter. It's been great. Some of the uh, information- Was it productive? Very, very productive. In fact, ignorance can be terrible. And, and we've learned so much about Greece and the opportunities. And I think we're all gonna take back very warm feelings and promise of coming back with more business-driven things. Uh, that was a good start, I think. Yeah, it's in, good. Uh, and I think we should do this more often. I think uh, there's a, uh, the more awareness comes between the two countries in the private I fully sector. Agree. I think there's more business to do. Yeah. Uh, I have a quick question sure. for you, Minister, that uh, you've been in the environment and energy. And, and in India, we had had a challenge, and we are making that transition quite strong. Uh, we were in fossil, then we went to nuclear, then renewable solar, uh, wind turbines. You have a clean environment and I know Europe is very high on regulation. Um, uh, we are also looking at technologies in the hydrogen sector. Uh, what are your thoughts in, in sustainability environment for, for Greece, EU, and what do you think about India and Greece that we can do together? Mm. That was, that was a discussion we had uh, in our panel. First of all, let me say how excited we are in Greece of hosting uh, uh, Horace's event and having the opportunity, as you mentioned, to, to discuss and exchange uh, views about actually what in fact is the common challenges we face uh, as Europe or as Greece or, or as India. Um, I would say that uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, Greece and uh, India uh, have different sizes, let's say, or different economies, uh, the goals regarding uh, climate neutrality, the goals regarding how to tackle climate change uh, are the same. Are the same, correct. They are exactly the same. Correct. And um, I think this is, a, this is a field where we can both build more on partnerships, on uh, synergies, and also business uh, cooperations. So uh, let me tell you that Greece has made a remarkable progress uh, during the past five years. That's good to know. In, uh, in, uh, in our climate neutrality uh, goals. Um, and this makes, makes it more difficult when you start from a starting point where you are a country that you're heavily dependent on, on fossil fuels. Correct. So uh, we were a country uh, that was dependent on uh, fossil fuels, um, but uh, we took this bold decision uh, back in 2019. It mm -hmm. was when uh, at that time the Greek Prime Minister um, took the decision to stand up and say, um, I want to have a, a green agenda for my country and I want to deliver the policies that uh, make this pathway towards uh, climate neutrality become a reality. Um, so since that time, which was a shock, uh, I have to admit, when, uh, uh, when you uh, stand and decide about uh, a bold step, a big step about changing completely the, the energy, the energy to, model. Yeah. Yes, on how you produce energy and how you consume energy. Um, but I would say that um, um, imagine that in the meantime we had the energy crisis, we had uh, the COVID, uh, we had. We all know the perils so of many, last three years. Yes, yes, and if we didn't have taken that decision in 2019 before the crisis, I think we wouldn't be in a position today to be proud of making this remarkable progress in, uh, in all these sectors because obviously uh, those new crises would distract us uh, from, uh, from the priorities. But still, where we stand today, um, we have set uh, an ambitious target for decarbonizing our uh, energy system in uh, 2030, by 2030, with having 80% uh, 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 renewables in our electricity 
uh, production. It's a big transition in the last five years then, if I may say so. Yeah. 19 and by 2030. Yes, it is. And um, if you take into account that uh, in five years, uh, we have managed to, to install a capacity of renewables that is actually double than it was until 2019. So in other words, uh, we have managed to double the installed capacity of renewables in our um, energy mix, Correct. in our electricity mix. And, and you understand how important it is for a country that um, was dependent on fossil. On fossil. Correct. Uh, in, uh, we have significantly reduced the share of fossil fuels today. Uh, it's actually 8% uh, in our mix. Uh, and of course, we continue the effort in uh, trying new technologies in our uh, energy system, uh, which I suppose is the challenge for uh, all countries and also... Entire mankind and humanity. And you know, we're also looking at partnering uh, in the hydrogen space because the uh, one of the things very promising is the hydrogen technology, I'm sure. You, so I, I think one day we'll come back, uh, we'll reconvene and take up this thread from here mm -hmm. to work together mm -hmm. uh, as India and Greece. And as I said, thank you so much for uh, a great host that we it had. Was, it was our real pleasure. Um, I think that uh, as European, speaking as a European uh, uh, Union, I think uh, uh, Europe, of course, is leading the efforts uh, for climate neutrality and uh, all of, uh, I think, all of us uh, realize the, the tremendous effort that has been done uh, after the European Green Deal. Uh, but still, we have ahead of us, uh, I think, um, a lot of challenges to face. And especially the clean tech market, I think, is something where, uh, given that India uh, is already, I think, a pioneer in several uh, Yes, we, uh, several we also took some good steps in the past 10 years to make that transition. A lot of good innovative technologies are emerging. We need it as a country with 1.4 billion and, you know, our Absolutely. consumption of energy is high. And with the AI that we are seeing everywhere in the world, the, the need for energy has gone 5x more. So it's not the end of the world. We have to add more capacities. Exactly. We so, will need more and more energy. More and more in energy. In our economies. Yes. And we need to find innovative ways of uh, using, uh, with a sustainable way, the electricity we consume. Well, thank you so much for it sparing your pleasure. time and, and sharing your thoughts. And as I said, India and Greece have a long way to go. And we look forward to a very deep partnership. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. Thank you.